Hello everyone, and welcome to our video discussing the top 20 Windows 11 tips and tricks you should know. Microsoft's Windows 11 has some great features, enhancements, and improvements when compared to previous versions of its operating system. Coming up, we'll show you some of the best tips and tricks to help you get the most out of your Windows 11 experience. With more than 20 to show you, let's get crack a lackin'. First things first, Microsoft Edge is the default browser on Windows 11. While it is much improved, you may prefer to use another browser like Google Chrome, Brave, Firefox, Vivaldi, or something else. When Windows 11 first launched, they did not make it easy to change the default browser. After much outrage from the community, they simplified the process. Here's how to do it. In the taskbar, go to the Start button, right-click, and select Settings. Another way to open the Settings app is to use the keyboard shortcut, which is the Windows key plus I. In the left pane, click on Apps. Select Default Apps here on the right. Go through the list and find the browser you prefer installed on your computer and select it. Instead of going through the tedious process of selecting the default browser for each file type, of which there are many, go back to the top and click on Set Default. This will now set your browser as the default for most of the file types listed. You may have to go to some of them and select the file type. Select your browser from the list and click Set Default for that file type. While we're here in Settings, one of the first things I enable is Dark Mode. Not only does it make it easier on your eyes, if using a laptop can help to save battery life. To enable it, go to Personalization, then Colors. In the drop-down menu for Choose Your Mode, select Dark. A major change with Windows 11 is that the Start button and PIN programs are now centered in the taskbar. Some people love it and some people hate it. If you're in the latter group and want to move the Start button to the more traditional left side, right-click an empty space in the taskbar and select Taskbar Settings. Scroll down and select Taskbar Behaviors. In the drop-down menu for Taskbar Alignment, select Left. Here they are on the left side of the taskbar. To easily switch back, repeat all the steps mentioned and select Center. A useful productivity feature added to Windows 11 is Snap Layouts. This comes in handy if you only have one monitor to easily arrange open programs and other windows on your screen. To use it, there is a keyboard shortcut, which is the Windows key plus Z, or you could hover your cursor over the Maximize Resize button in the upper right of any window. You'll see various layouts. In one of the layouts listed, select a zone. To fill out the other zones, select the remaining windows. While we're on the subject of quality of life improvements, Microsoft has finally added the ability to use multiple tabs in File Explorer. It works the same way as most browsers. Clicking on the plus will open a new tab. Then navigate to a drive or folder like you normally would. Just like any browser, using the Control plus T keyboard shortcut will also open a new tab. As many of you know, we love using keyboard shortcuts. We've done several videos over the years on that topic. Windows 11 has new ones that can be used for various functions. The Windows key plus W will open the Taskbar Widgets panel to get access to the weather, news, and other stuff. Windows key plus A opens up Quick Settings. Windows key plus N will open the Notification Center. And if you use Microsoft Teams, the Windows key plus C opens Team Chat. On your taskbar, you may see items there that you don't want. For example, there's the widgets panel in the left corner. To the right of the start button, there's a search button, which is redundant since searching can also be done in the start menu. There's also task view and chat. To remove any of these, right click on an empty section in the taskbar and select taskbar settings. For those being shown that you don't want, click the toggle to turn them off. One of the keys to a smooth running machine is to get rid of the files and other garbage you don't need. In the Settings app, in System, click on Storage. In Storage Management, turn on Storage Sense. Having it turned on, it'll automatically free up space, delete temporary files, and other stuff. If you click into it, you can choose when it automatically runs for each task. 
Just like a cell phone, notifications on your PC just might be too much. To turn them off, once again in Settings, in System, select Notifications. You have the choice of turning all of them off, clicking the toggle here at the top. I don't recommend doing this. Some notifications can be important. Instead, I recommend going to the section, Notifications from Apps and Other Senders. You can sort these by most recent and name. Then turn off the notifications individually for each app. In the past, we've mentioned a feature to lessen distractions called Focus Assist. Well, it's been renamed to just Focus. It's not the same at all as Focus Assist. To access it, in System, go to Focus. To minimize distractions when activated, Do Not Disturb will be turned on. Apps on the taskbar won't flash alert you and show badged notifications. Clicking the minus or the plus lets you set the duration anywhere from five minutes upwards of four hours. When you click on Start Focus Session, it'll open the clock app with a timer. An annoyance with many users is that with Windows 11, they made a change to what is shown when you right click on a file. It will now only show what Microsoft thinks is important in the right click menu, including listing Microsoft owned products like ClipChump and Skype. Now you have to do an extra click on Show More Options. This will now get you the full menu, including the ability to scan a file with Microsoft Defender. We mentioned the widgets panel earlier. Hovering your cursor over it in the taskbar will show you your weather, news, sports, and other stuff. You can customize what is shown here by clicking the plus here at the top. The selection is limited. To add any widget, for example gaming, click on the plus. To remove any unwanted widgets, click the menu icon for that widget and select Unpin Widget. A great tip if your PC is taking a long time to boot is to disable the apps and programs you don't need at startup. To do this, right click on the start button and select Task Manager, or you could right click on a blank section of the taskbar and select it. In the left pane, select Startup Apps, click on the program you don't want launching at boot, and select Disable. Do this for all the programs you know you don't need when your computer starts up. I've shown you the right-click start menu a few times already in this video. It's sometimes referred to as the secret start menu. I don't think it's a secret anymore. Many times it'll be quicker to access certain window components like the power options, device manager, and terminal to name a few. Just like when you're typing on your cell phone or tablet, a newer Windows 11 feature will help with misspelled words and give suggestions for text. To enable it, open settings. In the left pane, select Time and Language. Then select Typing on the right. The ones I recommend turning on for most people are Show Text Suggestions when typing on the physical keyboard, Autocorrect Misspelled Words, and Highlight Misspelled Words. For quick access to our favorite programs, most of us will often pin them to our taskbar. Another option is to pin them to the Start menu. To do this, left-click the Start button, then select All Apps. Find your program. When you do, right click on it and select Pin to Start. Selecting More will give you the option to pin it to your taskbar as well. Let's go back, and there it is. This is more of a general tip. If you have the need to do so, take advantage of the accessibility features built into Windows. Each year they get better. Open the Settings app. In the left pane, select Accessibility. I'll point out a few that might be useful for some of you. If your vision is not so great, go to Text Size. Use the slider to adjust the size of the text. Go to Mouse Pointer and Touch. Here you can change the style of the mouse cursor, including being able to select a color. Let's go down to the Hearing section and select Audio. Those with hearing issues sometimes find enabling mono audio helps with being able to hear spoken words more clearly. If you want to take a screenshot on Windows without using third-party software, the snipping tool comes in pretty handy. To open it quickly, use the keyboard shortcut, which is the Windows key plus Shift plus S. Your choices are Rectangle, Freeform, Window, and Full Screen. I'll stay with Rectangle, click and drag an area, and then let go. After taking your screenshot, you can mark it up, save it to your computer, and share it with others. 
In a world where it seems most companies are collecting data on their users to make money off of them, there's sadly very little we can do to stop them. But I can show you with this tip how to limit what Microsoft collects and knows about you. Open Settings. In the left pane, go to Privacy and Security. On the right, select General. Long story short, switch all four of these to off, especially the top one. Let apps show me personalized ads by using my advertising ID. Do not end on a serious note. Apparently, emoji are a thing in Windows as well, which is probably a sign of the decline of our civilization. As you can guess, I'm not a big fan, but to each their own. To use emoji anywhere within Windows, use the keyboard shortcut, which is the Windows key plus the period key. There's a ton to choose from, so have fun. Thanks for watching. If any of these tips and tricks was useful for you, give this video a thumbs up and share with others. Let us know in the comments if you have a tip or trick for Windows 11 you'd like to share. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe and click the bell for the latest on Windows 11 and other tech-related stuff right here on Tech Gumbo.